On a day when nervous depositors lined up to withdraw their money from this bank in Antigua and the Venezuelan government seized another bank that saw a run on deposits, FBI agents tracked down flamboyant billionaire Alan Stanford in Fredericksburg, Virginia, and served him with legal papers in a multi-billion dollar fraud case now under investigation by the government. Stanford was not taken into custody and he has not been charged with a crime, but the government says he and two other executives and three of his companies lured investors with rosy promises of big returns on CDs and other investments. Stanford's father had this to say. I don't believe them at all. I, I think that uh, I can't believe that uh, they would be involved in a, an illegal a scam to something to to milk investors or, or take their money or, or promise returns illegal or astronomical returns. Fallout from the case is already being felt overseas, especially in Latin America, where the Texas financier has a significant presence. Nobody knows what's going to happen, but everybody is scared, and we need people to come and say something to us about what what is going on and what we have to do. Until the FBI stepped in to help Thursday, federal regulators had not been able to find him. I was very concerned that, that I hadn't heard from him. I thought, surely he won't try to flee and, uh, you know, flee the country or try to go hide or something. You can't do that. The government has frozen Stanford's assets and a federal judge has appointed a receiver to identify and protect billions in assets worldwide. In an email to his employees last week, Stanford vowed to fight any charges of wrongdoing while also saying his company was cooperating in the probe. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press.